Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBR Labs. For more information and to get the source code of this project video, you can visit us at www.jcbrlabs.org. So this is a project video and in this video we will demonstrate a project which is water cycle algorithm optimization based PI controller for dynamic voltage restorer. Okay. So we also provide online training, help in technical assignment. We also do freelance projects based on embedded system, machine learning, data science, Python, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also mail us your queries at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. Okay. So uh, as we discussed, it's a project video or a project demonstration video. So we will be talking about a project which we have developed. So if you want the source code of uh, this project video or this project, you can let us know by mailing us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. So in this one, we will be talking about DVR, which is known as the dynamic voltage restorer. So actually what happens if there's a three phase supply or let's say there's a transmission line. So our requirement is like transmission, the voltage across the transmission line should be held constant for all the time. But what happens when uh, because the same network or same transmission line is connected to several industrial areas, some high performance uh, induction motor. So if there's uh, something is happening or, or switching on and on is happening at some location within the industrial. So uh, it uh, a voltage drops momentarily or for some duration then its actual value. So this is known as the voltage sag condition. So this is a sag condition. Similarly, it could also be possible that instead of falling below this reference line, uh, the voltage can go above this line okay so that is known as the swell condition so swell means voltage have been increased or sag means voltage have been decreased so if uh, some sensitive instruments are connected to those transmission line and if this kind of sag and swells are happening uh, within uh, this uh, system so they could affect adversely to our uh, uh, sensitive equipment. So there's a requirement of a system which uh, detects this sag and swell and then uh, uh, and then uh, maintain the voltage at the uh, reference value or the desired value. That means uh, if we pass if us uh, let's say there is a transmission line so there is a DVR is connected uh, in series uh, with this transmission line and then this DVR restores the voltage so let's say if they uh, this is the voltage and sag is happening here uh, sag is happening like this so the output of the dvr or the voltage at the uh, load will be held constant here we can have a load okay so this dvr is a series device and a coupling transformer is connected to it i hope you are very familiar with the basic uh, structure of it so in this video we will be demonstrating it how we have simulated it so here is our uh, DVR simulation system right so here we are coupling transformers here we have a programmable voltage source so we have simulated this voltage sag and swell using this programmable uh, voltage source other possibilities like we can use this there could be a fault in the system or uh, even then we can use uh, those simulation can be used here okay and here is our entire DVR it is taking the voltage here and then here is the PID controller which is taking those values and then it is uh, generating the pulses to the converter which is taking the voltage from the DC source so this is a DC link and then adding the converted voltage to the DVR structure okay so this is how we have created so now obviously the question is how to find the parameters of this uh, PID controller to get the desired result right 
so <coughs> in order to do that we have created uh, the uh, objective function so this particular objective function is based on the integral time absolute error okay so it is simulating the, the particular system which i showed you and then it is calculating the ita there and then getting those value of ita into the system and then we are ultimately using this uh, wca water cycle algorithm to optimize the parameter so here it's a complete package right so let's say i will show you the demonstration by running this video so here we are uh, checking the output voltage in terms of the pu so one pu and our sag is starting from at 0.02 okay so let's start the optimization uh, in order to do the optimization you just have to run this wc underscore file and it will start running the optimization so let's run it okay so now it started the simulation of the model and then corresponding result you will be able to see here so right now it is <coughs> uh, generating different values of kp and ki and then trying to find the best value of the kp and ki so that uh, final output remains around this one po okay so let's see over a little bit and see uh, if in some iterations this value will go around this one po so let's see we are like this there was uh, large overshoot it is highly deviated from one so this is how it keeps on checking the values and uh, depending on the number of iterations you have started with it will take time so now the time of this optimization also depends on uh, how fast your simulation is working and obviously it also depends on the kind of the machine which you are using uh, for this optimization purpose uh, right so the optimization can take one day to two days depending on the machine configuration and depending on your simulation model uh, running time so let's see it if it gives some right value of this uh, optimization uh, of this uh, cut value of this uh, pi yeah like this so this kind of output we desire and at and this simulation will end we will get the value of kp and k for which we will get we will be getting this kind of result for one bit okay so let's terminate it in between and remember <coughs> if you want to terminate this wc optimize sometimes uh, matlab got crashed so let's try it again. Yeah, it's got terminated. So uh, when you will uh, run this uh, optimization uh, completely, then you will get the final optimized result at output. Now we also have uh, created another file in which we optimize the same model using WCA and PS2 algorithm and store the results and then uh, through this file we are plotting a comparison um, between these two. Uh, so let's try to run it. Okay. So further, uh, this particular model are for uh, are for uh, uh, 220 volt uh, voltage supply. So this should not happen. This is the first time. Okay, so this particular DVR model is running for 220 volt power supply and so the RMS value is 311 volt. Uh, RMS value is 220 volt, so peak value is 311 volt. And these are the results which we are getting. So this is the supply at the source. Here we are getting a sag and this is the uh, waveform at the load side. So I think uh, it has mitigated the sag and the corresponding TBR has mitigated within 0.05 second. And after that, <coughs> uh, the same reference value voltage is being applied available at the 
voltage side. So this entire side has been removed. Similarly, these are the waveforms for BS optimized files. And if you want to see the comparison, then these are the comparison to comparative results with respect to one PU. Okay, so if you see carefully here, BSO is a little bit, um, I can say, uh, perform better than the PCA so because uh, PS optimized results are uh, around one PU uh, sooner than this WCA results. Okay, so I think this kind of results are necessary when you try to do such kind of comparative analysis for a thesis or project work. So this can be very beneficial for you. Okay, so if you have a, uh, if you want all these uh, project related simulation files and any other help, then you can contact us at jcbr.gmail.com. So uh, in this video, we will have we have demonstrated the project video of this media. Further, we also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on data science, Python, machine learning, etc. So, if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrlabs.org. So, that's it for this video. Thank you.